Hello, again. Christian Kundalini Science. Frank Conway Jr. That's me. You already know it. www.spiritualshock. One word. Dot com. This globe, this way we were, globe, this planet we live in. On. Am I living in a box? Remember? The cross, the Rubik's Cube, it's a song. Am I living in a box? Am I living in a hologram? Holographic universe. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, you said this one? Oh, no, 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 no. I deal with the holographic universe as a part of. Hold on for just a second, please. Be patient. <laughs> Ew, okay, well, can't find it right a second. Oh, okay. I deal with the holographic universe as a part of trapezium Giza pyramid artificial black hole theory. So I'm not going to say what you need to rent. Then you find out that what I'm talking about is high level science that other scientists are talking about. <laughs> Picture me. Picture me rolling. That's you buying anyway. So I was talking about this globe. I wanted to make a globe. Not make a globe, but I wanted to sell a globe. But I just thought it'd be interesting to have a real globe. See, it's like they do this thing with the map. This perspective with the map. And the maps are our illusion. Because most of the maps that you get, they, they, they have this perspective where they take the perspective of the land mass being on a ball. And they put the land mass on the ball and then let's say take a picture of that. And then from t that picture they lay that out on a map. Okay? But because, watch me, because the ball curves, okay? Because the ball curves, this much space at this part of the curve, okay, look at my glasses. See how it's curving? So, this much space is this. If you come down to the perspective, and come like this from my glasses. When you lay this out, really it's like that long. But I draw it on the map this way. So therefore, I give you the illusion this looks smaller than what it really is. Therefore, your perspective is off. So you keep saying, is somebody trying to play tricks on my mind? Or is my mind playing tricks on me? Sometimes a I said, like, how can your mind play tricks on you unless someone first play trick on your mind? Bad information. So somebody would say, you know, ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Well, going back to what we were talking about, the light and the tunnel and all. Uh, ignorance is bliss until that train get into you. Oh, good little lion. Look so friendly. Pet him until he snap you. He looks so friendly, cute, and cuddly. Mm -hmm. now, now, once you get snapped, is ignorance still bliss then? This place, I tell you. you gotta stop believing in those fables. Oh, so we were talking about reading, Bible study. First of all, if I had a doctrine, it would be read your Bible from cover to cover. If you're into that, Christian, Christianity.
Then the question is, well, why do they go to Matthew, Mark, Luke, a little bit of Luke to jump back to Psalms? Why you? Because you're in a state of emergency that's just cutting up down here. By the time you really read this, look, you know, you, you, you were 40 or 50 years. You got 40 or 50 years that you can be sitting at the gates. You let me say, well, did you read the book I left you? Huh? Huh? Yeah, the book. Did you read it? No, I picked it up and I opened it up and went way back here to the back. <laughs> I went to the back. Yeah. How, how do you get... Oh, okay. Whoa. What hmm. talking about? Anyway. Right. Pine In Egypt. From nothing. And all of this. Egyptian fun house. How do you get all the way back here? In in, in the in the in the biblical text. How how let's look at it another way. How is it that we're gonna talk about multiplication and division and we're not even gonna be proficient in addition and subtraction? How did you get here? And which way is Detroit? Which prior said that? How did I get here and which way is Detroit? See? So you're gonna find some things that comedians are gonna say, and they might not even know what they're saying on various levels. So how do you get to Matthew, Mark, Luke? How do you get how do you get how do you get to Deuteronomy? And you don't get past Genesis. How do you get to Leviticus and you don't get past Genesis? You explain this. Makes no sense whatsoever. Now you don't even know what you believe in. Then you see something. <laughs> Watch this one. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, unless the horses are talking, Mr. Ed. A talking horse. No. Jesus rode a donkey into Jerusalem. No. Talking donkey. Is there a talking donkey in the Bible? Hmm. Hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. The animals went on Noah's Ark. How many of each? Mm -hmm. Two. They went in two. Really? Well, what happened to the seven? I thought it was two unclean and seven clean. And why would it be seven? It's an odd number. Not if. There's going to be three pair of two. That's three times two is six. And the seventh one is going to be what? Sacrificed. So, you being... There's seven animals that are clean are going to be saved from the flood. And then after the flood, one of the animals that was saved from the flood is going to be sacrificed. Yeah. And then you're watching one of the Noah's Ark. And you look it up on the internet. And the strange thing is they don't... Sh they, this is a strange thing. It's, 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 it's uh, James Conn. Right? Flint. My man Flint. In like Flint. Flint. You know Flint. It's a movie. Well, Noah, he's out there cruising on the water. 
you know, the, the rain stops, you just cruising. And this dude comes by, hey, how you doing? You need anything? Need to make a trade? No? All right, see you later. You think I'm making this up, don't you? I know you do. You think I'm making this up. Well, let me ask you this. If everything was cleansed at the flood, how did quote-unquote evil come back into the world? Or was one of the nephrophilia, which is called janks, not giants, janks, the way I was taught. Right. One of the janks was saved from the flood. Mm hmm. How come they didn't tell you that? So now you see that you don't know. But you might look right over. Why? Because that years ago, Dr. Joyce Brothers did uh, an experiment. And when you see something that doesn't make any sense, you're 666. Huh? That's right. Your hepern, which is 666, which I'll break it down for you in Christian Kundalini and Science, ISBN number 978-0-578-10079-1, puts the mind eraser on you. You have a protection device in your own head when you see something you don't understand. And especially if your mind is not strong enough, you might see something every day that you do not understand. Your mind goes like this, filters it right out in the subconscious mode before it comes to your conscious and you go, what? What? What is that? Because if you get confronted with what you see, it can shatter your ego. Your ego keeps you in a certain state of mind, which the, that certain state of mind defines your reality. When your reality gets challenged, here we go. See, when your reality gets challenged, you go into a certain state, which I have the philosophical term that I have created or theorized upon, which I'm putting this out there. Now I'm telling you that I said this. And I have to send this to Webster's and then tell them, put this in the book. I have to do that. So let me put that note down and I'll deal with that in a second. When you come across something that makes no sense, just what? It challenges your concept of reality. If your mind, your ego, see your ego defines who you are. It tells you who you are. It keeps you, it defines you. When you step outside of your ego, when you experience something that is outside of your realm of belief, in order to confront that, <clears throat> you go into a whole nother mental state. I have coined the term spiritual shock. You go into a state of spiritual shock shock right and I say that and guess what I use right which I relate to the philosophical term spiritual shock as a form of awareness effect of raising the brazen serpent upon the pole of the spine using the Gnostic cipher key in relation to the book of the apocalypse I say that see you shortly